Welcome to Salient TV's As Seen in FileMaker 13 series. My name is Martha Zink, and in this video I'm going to focus on using popovers as menus. In this sample file, we're looking at the main menu. Now you'll notice that there are only three options on this layout. There's a Customers button, Projects, and Tasks button. Now, one of the things that I find in a lot of existing solutions, mine included, we overdo we crowd our main menu screen with a lot of buttons. We often do that because our solutions get so complex that we have a lot of options, we have a lot of things we can do. But from a user's perspective, it can be overwhelming. Whether it's a new user or someone who only uses the system every so often, it can be a little frustrating when you see all these things you can do and, and really you're trying to just focus on one section of the database. With popovers, we actually can limit the focus for a user. So when that I click on customers, you'll see that I only get a popover that gives me the customer options. And because popovers only show up one at a time, if I click on tasks, that customer popover goes away and my focus is moved over to the tasks popover. And then if I click on projects, what I've done here is I've actually added a global field that's, that functions as a search field. In a popover, we can include fields, texts, uh, buttons, images, whatever we want. What I've done here with this field is if I click in it and just type in a P and hit return, it's actually going to use the quick find to find records in the project list. So you'll see that these three came up because of the project name and also because of the main contact. So what I love about this is that it's actually pretty intuitive from a user's perspective. I added a small little icon so that it was obvious that it was for searching. The user's going to type, hit return, and expect something to happen. So these are all things that we're used to, and, and mostly we're used to it because of the web. If we look at the script that runs when you hit the return key, I'll show you real quick. So it commits the record, and then it's going to make sure that the field isn't empty. If I click inside that field and hit the return because I've changed my mind, or if I try to exit the field, then I want to make sure that I only search when I've typed something in there. If I did type something, then we take the value that I typed, we put it into a variable, and we go ahead and clear that search field. Then, because in this case we clicked on a search field in the project list, in the project uh, popover, it's going to take me to the project list layout, and then it's going to perform the quick find with whatever it is that I typed in there. Very simple script. It can be more dynamic, it could be more complex for sure. Um, I'm sure that a lot of developers out there can, can make this super flexible so that it can be used in multiple contexts. But the idea is that we're taking some really valuable screen real estate and using it properly. We're only using it so that the user is very focused on what they're doing. Now let me go back to this project screen here. The other way that this is going to serve as a menu is on screens where you have list views or you know detailed views for your data. If you have a database that allows your user to go to other portions of the file. So maybe if you're on customers you can get to tasks or if you're on tasks you can get to projects and so on. I know that in old solutions I used to have multiple buttons across the screen versus now here I have just a single button that lets me go to those multiple sections, those major sections in the file. So really we're taking advantage of something that we can show only when we want to show it. So having all those buttons across the screen was nice because the user could always look to the top and choose one, but that's, this is just as intuitive. A user will click menu and then they'll be able to choose wherever they want to go. Hopefully popovers is one of the ways that we're going to improve the way that a user interacts with the database, especially when it comes to navigating around a system. I'd love to hear how you're using popovers as main menus or as menu options or, or how it's replacing your normal button, so please feel free to leave comments. Thanks for watching.